finish on a right note with that popular, versatile comedian of radio and stage, Max Wall. How do you do, everybody? Wall is the name Wall, Commodore Garden. You've heard of the Great Wall of China? He was my grandfather. <laughs> he was a brick. Well, I'm going to show my versatility. I've had permission. Imitations of well-known people. My first will be Charles Lawton in the film Mutiny on the Bounty. <laughs> I hope you're going to like this. <laughs> You're going to get it. Charles Lawton. Mr. Christian, give me the pearls immediately. Hand them over. I haven't got them. That's the other chap, you know. <laughs> don't lie to me, Mr. Christian. I don't like it. <laughs> you must give your captain credit for having some little intelligence. One of my men saw the native girl give you the pearls on the island. Hand them over or it's mutiny, you fool. I thank you. My next will be John McCormack. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh, please, don't laugh, it's possible. It's either John McCormack or Jack Doyle. Well, I mean, anybody can do him. Well, if Jack Doyle's anywhere near, I'm joking, of course. <laughs> Well, a quick imitation of Jack Doyle. Oh! I thank you. I should like to imitate Mrs. Jack Doyle, Movita, but I don't speak enough Spanish, you know. There's two words. Uh, Mananas, that means tomorrow, and pajamas, that means tonight. <laughs> However, John McCormick, straight into it. I hear you calling me, Vigara. And oh, oh, no, 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 no balance, right? I never stay where I'm not wanted. I know just the moment to go. For instance, last Sunday, I went in the country to visit some people I know. When I got there, they were out, I'm afraid, but they'd left their house in the care of a maid. So I took off my hat and I took off my coat and I took off my gloves and went in. The maid was quite pretty and seemingly witty. We flirted and finished the gin. She must have thought I was a surgeon, no doubt, because all of a sudden she started to shout, you've gone far enough, cut it out, cut it out. So I put on my hat and I put on my coat and I put on my gloves and went home. I once took some lessons in boxing. I thought it an excellent wheeze. Then I made a short list out of all the big fellows I thought I could beat up with ease. The first on the list was the bully next door. I just couldn't wait to punch him on the jaw. So I took off my hat and I took off my coat and I took off my gloves and went in. I showed him the list and I held up my fist. I said, how'd you like this on your chin? I'll break you in pieces, he started to shout. I'll bust in your windpipe, I'll tear out your snout. So I pulled out my pencil and crossed his name out. Then I put on my hat and I put on my coat and I put on my gloves and went home. <laughs> 